Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lindsay and I bring you content on clean beauty and skincare. Today's video, I want to talk about Honest Beauty's newest launch, their liquid lipsticks. I have all of the shades here to swatch and talk about. I'm really excited they came out with these. I saw it in the Tati and Jessica Alba video that they used these. And Honest Beauty did send these over in PR. This video isn't sponsored or anything like that. I just wanted to share the swatches of these with you guys. In case you're curious about picking any of them up, I know that seeing swatches in a video is super helpful, at least for me, when choosing a color. So make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already, and if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, it really helps me out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So first off, let's just talk a little bit about these lipsticks. I'm going to go over the details and then I'll do all the swatches. Here's just a preview of all the shades. They are pretty pinkish to purple. There's not any reds or any sort of like deeper shades in the collection yet. I'm not sure if they're going to expand on these. These are new rele newly released, so I'm sure they'll probably add some new colors eventually. But let me grab my phone and then I'll read you guys the description on these, what they claim to do, and some of the key ingredients. I have it pulled up on my phone here. These retail for $12.99. I have them on the Honest Beauty website. They have them on Target online. I'm not sure if they're in stores at Target yet. I guess it depends on your store. I would just check online. And they also do sell them on Amazon. They're $12.99, same price everywhere. And then there is six shades. Again, they're all pretty pink toned, purple toned, neutral toned. Not a lot of like crazy colors in this collection yet. So let me go ahead and read you the little description on their website. These are cruelty free and vegan, by the way. So it says, you love the staying power of a liquid lip, the dryness not so much, our clean power technology, powers that all day wear of our color drenched shine to matte liquid lipstick. What's more, the vegan formula nourishes, thanks avocado oil, feels flexible, by dry by noon status quo and instantly hydrates hello hyaluronic acid to keep that color power going strong and feeling fabulous glam on glam clean so yeah this is a hydrating liquid lipstick with our clean power technology and a flexible feel in seven shades okay i said six shades but it's seven <laughs> <laughs> can't count today no silicones no synthetic film formers no animal byproducts flexible hydrating all day wear powered by the clean power technology and it's made without isodocaine synthetic film formers silicones fragrance carmine animal byproducts really excited about this formula i feel like it's pretty hard to find sort of more pink toned lip products that don't have carmine in them that are more affordable so i really enjoy that they did make this formula vegan and of course they are cruelty free so i think the packaging is really cute they just come in this clear plastic tubes i like the clear so you can see what shade it is and i think the white is cute it's really simple but they're also just like you know easy to throw in your bag and travel with and then when you pull it out it does have a doe foot applicator just a traditional doe foot and i think it grabs onto the product really well and you get a good amount of product on the doe foot but before we get into more about those, let me just go ahead and tell you guys what shade I'm wearing on my lips now and a little bit about how the formula works. Like I mentioned, I am going to be doing swatches on my lips and show you guys how these apply. But the first one that I am wearing right now, I wanted to put on to show you how the formula looks. So this is the shade Off Duty that I'm wearing on my lips now. They don't have shade descriptions on their website, but I would say, I would say it's a pretty neutral pink. It's not too warm, maybe a little bit on the cooler side i can't really tell i feel like it's just a good neutral pink on me i think it's a nice nude color i really like this shade i think it's the perfect everyday shade so the interesting thing about these formulas is that like i said it's a shine to matte formula so when you first put it on you will see when i do the other swatches but it is really shiny looking and it almost looks like a like lacquer type lip then it says to wait at least five minutes for the full formula to sort of develop and i've waited about 10 minutes now it does take them a little bit of time to sort of get to this final finish which is really interesting but when they first apply they feel so thin and lightweight i can't emphasize enough how comfortable this formula is if you don't like wearing lipstick or you don't like the feeling of really anything on your lips besides like a balm you would absolutely love these because for me 
I do have dry lips and like texture on my lips a lot of the times and for the liquid lipstick I feel like if I can feel any of it on my lips like I just keep rubbing it together and it just like it just doesn't work out for me and I like can't wear it for more than an hour but these are extremely comfortable I've worn these all day for a couple days now to really test out the formula and I think they're pretty long wearing. I mean, they do wear off sort of just like a regular liquid lipstick would wear off. I, wouldn't, I don't really have an exact time frame of when I notice that they wear off. When I eat, it does fade a little bit, but it fades really naturally and it doesn't look patchy. It's not like one of those really matte liquid lips that like when you get something on it, like it'll just like completely like patch up and look really weird because they are so thin and not super matte. They wear off really nicely, which I enjoy. They are pretty long wearing but I feel like you still have to touch up like you can't wear this for like 12 hours and have it look good if you're eating and drinking so I think it's just a really nice everyday lip product so looking at my lips now with this shade on it's probably been like 15 minutes since I put this on and it's pretty matte but it's not completely matte it's not like that super matte finish that some liquid lipsticks have it does have sort of a nice sheen to it still so it looks really plump and it might be the hyaluronic acid just makes your lips look really natural and not really like you have a liquid lipstick on which I enjoy about these so enough about the formula I'm gonna go ahead and start swatching some of the other shades for you guys okay so the first one you saw on my hand there that one is off duty and it's the one I'm wearing on my lips now I will zoom you guys in a little bit more just so you can see the color better so here is the shade off duty really pretty sort of everyday pink i think a lot of people could make this color work okay so i went ahead and wiped that one off the next shade i have here is bff let me swatch it on my hand so this shade i think is really pretty it's one of those like mauve toned it's mauve but it's not too cool toned i think it's really wearable it is a little bit of it is a little bit deeper if you have like medium to deep skin this would be a gorgeous nude on you on me, it's going to be a little dark because I am fair, but I think this color is gorgeous, especially for fall. I absolutely love wearing shades like these. So let me go ahead and apply this on my lips for you guys. Here is the shade BFF. As you can tell, Compared to the other one I was wearing when you first apply it, it does have a little bit more of a shine to it at first and then it dries down the more you wait. So this shade, I absolutely love how this looks. It's more of like a really dusty rose. I think it's gorgeous. I feel like a color like this also works on a ton of different skin tones. So here's that color. Here is the swatch on my hand. The next shade we have is called Happiness, which is more of a very sort of like Barbie warmer toned pink. Sorry, my swatches aren't perfect. I kind of just like threw them on there. But yeah, the shade's really pretty. I actually haven't even tried this one on yet, so I'm excited to see what it looks like. Okay, and here is Happiness on the lips. It's actually a little bit more wearable than I thought it was gonna be. Very pretty pink. I think it would be gorgeous for like spring and summer makeup. Next up we have the shade Passion, which is right there on my hand. It is, we're getting to like berry territory now. It is a gorgeous berry. It's not too deep. Again, this is one I haven't tried on, so I'm excited to see how this looks on the lips. Here is the shade Passion on the lips. It is still a very wearable berry tone. It's not too dramatic, but it does have a nice sort of like magenta hue to it. Next up, we have the shade called Forever. This is the coolest tone one yet. It is very clearly a purple shade. It is more of a muted purple. Again, another shade that I think would be gorgeous for like fall time. Here is Forever on the lips. I think it's really pretty. I'm usually not a fan of purple tone, but I think this shade is actually really flattering because it still has a bit of pink to it. So I think it looks pretty good. Lips are really gonna be angry at me after this video. I'm like wiping off so much lipstick. They're already dry and they're like, please don't do this, Lindsay. Sorry, it's gotta be done. The people need the swatches. Okay, we only have two more left. I'm gonna start with this one called Goddess, which looks like a very bright pink. Here's the shade Goddess, a really classic sort of hot pink. 
it does have pretty neutral undertones again it's not too cool or too warm of a pink so again i think it would be pretty flattering on a lot of people Okay, a couple things to note about the formula that I'm noticing before I move on. I have worn these before and I do notice that I usually have a little bit of dryness on my lips and I don't think they accentuate the dryness which I absolutely love so if you have like any just like little bits of dryness. I've exfoliated my lips before this and I still have just a little bit of texture. I don't think it highlights it too bad. I do find that it settles a little bit into the lines in my lips just because it is such a lightweight like liquidy formula it does settle a little bit but i find like if you sort of just blot it off a little bit that does help a lot here is the shade goddess on my lips this is a really fun summer shade i feel like i'm comparing every shade to a season but i don't know i just feel like that's <laughs> how i compare colors but this is really pretty I think it would be gorgeous with a look like this, just like some simple wing liner and a bright lip. Last shade we have is Fearless, which is the deepest shade in this collection. It's a really deep, true berry shade. Here is the shade Fearless. This one's so pretty. I feel like I wasn't going to like it that much, but it's actually a gorgeous color on the lips. Okay, guys, that was it. That was all seven swatches of the new Honest Beauty liquid lipsticks. Let me know in the comments below which one your favorite is. If you were to get just one, I feel like it depends on what kind of liquid lipstick shade you wanted, but if you wanted like a neutral, I think this first one here, BFF, is just like a really pretty more pink toned if you want something more neutral or brown that one is gorgeous i think they're all pretty honestly i feel like all the shades are although some of them are bold like down here they are still pretty wearable and the formula is just beautiful on the lips i love how lightweight these feel i really think they did a great job at formulating these to feel comfortable and i love liquid lipstick but again i have dry lips and i feel like most of them just no, but not looking good at the end of the day. So I'm really excited to use these and I'll probably incorporate these into some upcoming tutorials. But let me zoom you guys back out a little bit more and I will see you in the outro. Okay guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what your favorite shade is really hard to pick i know they're all so pretty but let me know that in the comments below and thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video which will be out on sunday and it's another new launch i'm so excited to try out so make sure you tune in on sunday for that video and see ya